Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Delays with the fifth video on Rethink DB, and today I'll be talking about filters and I'll show you basic filters which you can play around with. And this, these are helpful when you are retrieving some documents from your table and you want certain filters to be applied and uh, those will be applied and uh, the ones which will pass the filters will be returned back to you via the console. And let's get started. So over here, as you can see, I have a server running because of which Rethink DB is live right now. So I have a data explorer over here and recently I have created something called a, tab a table called planets over here as you can see. <clears throat> okay, so the code that I use is uh, sample.js over here and I have commented out certain lines which are no longer required. So these are r.db test.table create uh, planets.run connection with the function and which uh, gives back an error and a result. Or you can use it as a cursor that uh, it's, it's up to you so anyways uh, so this is done uh, and this was explained in the second uh, tutorial as far as I remember or probably the third one you can check it out and you can uh, create if at all you're new to this you can create a table you can create a table named planets and come back to this video so what I did was that I inserted certain planets with uh, moons uh, so let us say for example as you can see over here there's mercury with uh, zero moons so similarly I have uh, after this I, I have uh, run it about thrice so if you are uh, I am I'm pretty sure you are familiar with the syntax it is rodb test dot table and after that dot insert with a array of objects so after that I run it using the connection which is saved over here and then there is a function and it will give out a result and this result can be used uh, as a cursor as well anyways uh, let's get uh, going ahead so after that I have created something called filter.js and it has similar uh, lines it has a r, r equal required reading db also it has to connect to the local host with a port and then the function is of uh, there is a callback function of error and connection after that uh, you have uh, r.db test.table planets which is very uh, which is usual I'm quite sure that you are able to understand this easily so anyways after that you have uh, forget this comments for a while so let's say the comments were absent so wh what I mean to say is that if, if it was like this so you would have this piece of code and it is simple to uh, understand it has a database dot table and is running the connection so it is calling for the table and it is taking a cursor the cursor is being converted to two array using the uh, two array function and uh, we are stringifying the result and with a white space of 2 which has been explained in the previous tutorial you can head to that if you have not watched it so anyways uh, let, let's uh, just uh, get back with commented ones so even if there is uh, there are comments it, it, it won't uh, do any harm to us so let's see what will happen when I run this <coughs> alright so as you can see over here we are consoling out the result as well uh, which talks about a lot of things uh, uh, which are not required but uh, we are also consoling out something uh, over here in a string stringified format so that is showing the planets that we have as of now so we have earth mass venus and mercury and also the moons along with the ids which are system generated so anyways uh, let me comment uh, let me remove the comments uh, over here and let's see what will happen so i'll just run it and then i'll explain it Alright, so as you can see over here, we have only one result which is the name of Venus and uh, which has moon 0. So there is only one document being returned and that is because we are applying this filter and the, uh, the way it works is pretty simple. You just pass on, so as you can see over here, uh, instead of uh, just uh, finishing your code with this, you can insert a filter in between. So it's like uh, let's say the water is coming for, uh, for, uh, from the top from the database to the table so let's say water is coming from the top from the database to the table and then to, through the filter it will run and if there is no filter it will return all the values but if there is filter it will only return the values that are required or which match the filters uh, conditions so we have what the uh, condition we are passing is that the r dot rope which means that the rope which is called name it should be equal the field should be equal the value of the field should be equal to Venus so we hear that is the reason uh, the rest of the story is the same you don't have to worry about that so we hear that is the reason when you run it you are getting only Venus I'll remove this cursor out of the way 
so that can give us a clean picture. Alright, so as you can see, we have only Venus in the picture. So similarly, if at all I uh, search for Jupiter, which is not present in the database, let's see what happens. So we are getting an empty string, which means that there are no results. So similarly, if I if I say Mars, I'll get back Mars. Alright, so similarly, you can do a lot of other other things with these filters. So I'll just comment out uh, these uh, so that I can show you the other ones. So what uh, the next one is that it will return whatever is not equal to Venus. So for that you need to use the uh, word called NE. So it will it'll, it'll work this way. So let us run it. Right, so as you can see Venus is absent in the record. So which means that Venus has been omitted. So whatever is not equal to Venus is being passed through this filter. So that is very simple to understand. Similarly you can also compare the numbers. So what you need to do is that uh, you need to write dot filter with a row r dot row moons since we have a uh, if, if at all you watch uh, if at all you check out the whole list of uh, documents you see that there is a, a row called moons as well so with a number numerical data it's not a string so make sure of that so if at all you uh, write write this down so which is which goes like this dot filter r dot row moons dot gt so GT means uh, basically greater than. So if it all uh, the moons are if if it has more than one moon, it will return the value. So let's see how it works out over here. All right, so as you can see, only one document has been re uh, returned. So which is called Mars. I mean, it has two moons. That is why we are getting only uh, only Mars. So similarly, we can uh, say it is greater than zero. So what will happen? You can see we are getting Earth as well as Mars. All right. So uh, similarly, you have a bunch of other other filters also which you can play around with. You can uh, do not equal to zero. So uh, if you remember, Venus and Mercury have zero moons. So let's see what happens. All right. So as you can see, Venus and Mercury have been uh, omitted. Only Earth and Mars are being returned. Also, uh, if at all you say it is not equal to one. Then, as you can see, Earth is being omitted. Similarly, uh, you can uh, you can uh, work around with others, which is greater than or equal to, which means that it can be greater or also equal to zero. So, if at all you do this, you're getting all of that because even zero is allowed over here. So, similarly, you can also uh, do less than, which is LT and LE, which is less than or equal to, and play around with your filters. So that you know you can compare your data in uh, numeric and as well as the uh, the alphabet uh, uh, format. So in the alphabet format, so now I've only shown equal to and not equal to. So there are many more things which I'll be talking about in other videos. So stay tuned for that. And that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.